Hey, what's going on guys? Officer O'Leary here, back with New Jersey Coasters. Today we're at Lake Compounds doing some filming. We're here well before the park opens. <laughs> Still have about two hours or so. Um, we're gonna be filming on this today. We'll be on the coaster. It's of course the Skyrocket 2 by Premier Rides. Right now we're just walking through the park as it's closed. We walked all the way back to where they're putting a new slide next year. It's gonna be really cool. Is a wildcat running two trains or one? Uh, one. Okay. So everything here is just one. Okay, okay cool. Yeah. So we got the camera equipment on Phobia Fear Coaster. I've never been on one of these before. Excited. I wonder what park we're at. Welcome to Lake Compounds. Today we're here on Phobia Fear, a Skyrocket 2 model in uh, Connecticut. You ready, Rad? Oh yeah, I'm Let's so go. excited. I don't know if I'm ready for these people. I don't know if I'm ready either. <laughs> I've never been on one of these. Me either, here we go. First Skyrocket 2. Oh! Whoa. Here we go. This is actually great. This is great. Oh, here we go. The head chopper. Whoa! 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 Oh! Oh! Shoot! Whoa! That's cool. Now here comes the dive down. This is gonna be cool. Whoa! 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 Look at the floater at the top of this. Video. I don't really care. Yeah.
for it? Yeah, yeah, send it again. <laughs> oh, alright, yeah, unlock it one more time. You gonna ride? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pop of every time you get right at the top. Really good. Alright, Jason and I just came off Phobia Fear Coaster. We rode it three times, or actually, I rode it three times. Jason only rode it once for that uh, river facing POV. Um, so that's the only time he's ever been on it, and I got to ride it like three more, or two more times. So I've been on it a whole total of three times, and uh, I really do enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. Of course, the back row in each car has uh, three row of cars, but the back row in each car is a little bit tighter than the other two rows. So if you have long legs like me, I recommend riding in the first two rows of each car so that way you don't get too squished because I had a really bad experience on the Skyrocket at Kennywood. But anyway, we're with our two supervisor friends over here and they're uh, over here. They led us to Boulder Dash, which is obviously right next door to Phobia. So we're about to get first rides on Boulder Dash and uh, they're expected to get about 25% capacity. Um, so it could be quite busy here. Um, even though it's 25% capacity, they sold out all the reservations. So, um, yeah, we're expecting it to be pretty busy. Ready, Jason? Boulder Dash? Yep. Let's go. It doesn't have a sign right now because they're actually making a brand new one for this season. But we still have this over here. Boulder Dash voted the world's number one wooden coaster from or on uh, 2004, 2013, 2014, 15, and 2016. And uh, for the rest of those years, it was uh, Phoenix or El Toro. So here we go, Boulder Dash, my first ever ride. Boulder Dash was built in the year 2000 by CCI, Custom Coasters old. International. It's 20 years old this year. And you can see the lift hill and the rest of the ride is all through the trees and up the mountain. So we're gonna have a blast on this. So they just like left wing. Um, yeah, let me just mount the stuff, and now we're here. So how? Hey, how? I'm going to know how. Justin here works at Boulder Dash. He's been a fan of the videos for a while. What's going on, on man? man. <laughs> you uh, grouping people today over here? Yeah, doing Q line. Q line. And so uh, this season, because of COVID. <laughs> Obviously, you don't get to pick your row, so I mean, Justin's gonna be picking your row for you. Uh, but we're here first, so we'll obviously be in the front, probably. <laughs> yeah, if people want to ask me if they want to go back, I'll let them go to the back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. They ask me which row they want to go, I'll go just let them It's on. always good to accommodate people, you know, you don't want to be mean or anything. Yeah, exactly. You say always, always try and be nice. But yeah, we're gonna get first rides of the day here on Boulder Dash. I'm so excited. It's gonna be my first time ever being on it, and uh, I'm pretty excited. Hey guys, I'll be here all day? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be here too. So excited for this. 
I probably shouldn't be. I need to get my expectations lower because I know it's not oh, the it's best. It's trash. Ride in the world. It's trash. It's trash. Yeah, yeah this ride sucks. This ride is awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jason. Hey, Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, right, mine's. You're welcome. I have my expectations set way too high. I need to not be as excited. It sucks. Legend is better. You should have been to Hollywood oh, Nights. Blah 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 blah. Please stand clear. How did you only ride that once, dude? We could have had it like I rode it two more times. I, I'm gonna ride it later in marathon. You, you're not gonna be able to. There's gonna be a line. Uh, That's why I, I took advantage of the ERT. I was like, oh well, we're the only ones here, and they're opening the ride for us, so I might as well just keep riding it. Yeah. See? Yeah, we're gonna so happy to work here. I love it. Oh, all right, guys. So okay. that bus on closing. Please do not touch on them, and the tenant will help you. <laughs> you guys ready to ride? You get stapled. Oh, seriously, are you guys ready to ride? Yeah. Ready? Woo! Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's uh, we'll send it like this. <laughs> yeah. PTC would be like, no. You guys saw the first riders of the day. Let's do it. Visual skin. All right. <laughs> Oh, clear. If you guys are ready to have it, make some noise! Woo! <laughs> 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 this ride's gonna suck. This ride's gonna suck. This ride's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs>
That was pretty good. It's fun. I don't know if it's the best wooden coaster in the no, world. It's not, but it's fun. That's good. It's just too fun. It's really hot. I'd like to try it at night. It's too bad the park closes at seven. I know. Good. Yeah, it's it's fun. I wanna go. I wanna ride it a couple more times. Stop. Push back the pump on those lap balls. Don't forget who's hot coast you left inside the green cubbies. Thank you for the bonus and enjoy the rest of your day. Here at Lake Compounds. <laughs> if you guys are ready, make some noise and show you what I'm doing. We got almost designed right. Yeah, pretty good. Bye. This stuff feels so weird. It like tilts back and forth. Yeah. You like never like a holly off the ground. You're like. It's not rough by any means. No, that's good. It's uh, just shaking. We just got off Boulder Dash. It was my first time on it. Jason's been on it before. But I don't know. I, I feel like this ride might be a little bit overhyped. I, I thought it was fun, but I, I don't know. It wasn't the best thing ever. I still think El Toro and Phoenix are better wooden coasters than that. But also, I have not ridden it at night, and I've also ridden it twice. I've ridden it in the front and in the back. First time I was in the front, and I thought it was pretty enjoyable. But once we got in the back, it was a little bit too rough for my liking. Uh, I don't know, I banged my knee a lot. I still enjoyed it, it was a lot of fun. We're gonna go on it again uh, in a few minutes here. We just had to put some of Jason's camera equipment away because we're not supposed to have that in the park. But <laughs> what? You thought that's rough. Get ready for what's in front of you. Uh-oh. That's rough. Yeah, I've heard much worse things about this thing in front of us. Not the Boulder Dash Photoshop, the uh, Boulder Dash okay. is, is smooth compared to this. <laughs> All right. And now we're back inside the park. We're gonna go get the rest of the credits that I need, which are basically just a wildcat and the kitty coaster. And, and the boomerang. Oh, and the boomerang. I always forget about those crappy rides. I'm definitely not a fan of them. But also we have the flyers right here, which uh, have a brand new sign for today. So a couple of weeks ago, there was an incident here on the flyers. So they had to put these signs up today. It says, do not snap cars. And yeah, prior to today, the signs were not there. Park's pirate ship ride has this awesome looking waterfall underneath it that's usually turned on. I'm not sure why it's not running today, but doesn't that look so cool? This is the Park Zamperla disco ride. It's just reopened after being closed for a couple of weeks. And this right here in front of us is the Park's Wave Swinger, which is not likely to open this season because the park actually closes next weekend, right? Yep. Um, September 7th is the closing date. So yeah, this isn't gonna be operational this season, but that's okay. It'll probably be back next year. And uh, right over here is the back side of the park's dark ride that we're gonna have to get on pretty soon because I heard that also gets a long line. Um, but they have a little bit of an arcade underneath it, which is open during COVID. Most places, you know, close their arcades because of the virus. I have a couple of kids rides over here. And right now we're heading back to the main entrance because the park's actually giving us complimentary drink bottles for today. So we can go and get soda. Woo. So get ready for a very enthusiastic vlog. Yeah. Enthusiasm! Oh, she brought us drink bottles. 
Here's our uh, kitty coaster pass. On the back it says only valid for rides. Um, and it just says allow these two guests to ride kitty coaster. <laughs> Heck yeah, my last credit I need here in the state of Ote Connecticut. In the state of a what? Connecticut. <laughs> you were you about to say? I don't know. <laughs> the state of Massachusetts. Oh, wah, 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 wah. Got this Molina and Sons kitty coaster here. Only a couple people in line. Hopefully the ride up takes our pass. Um, <laughs> uh, that's a questionable question. Oh yeah, woo! <laughs> Special? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> Woo! Nah, I forgot. Oh, there's that little jolt on the lift hill. <laughs> oh! It's got a GCI drop. <laughs> oh, God. Slightly less enjoyable. <laughs> right, we had fun. Woo! <laughs> Best ride in the park. <laughs> I'd say Boulder Dash is only a little bit better. <laughs> oh, crap. Thank you. Oh. I'll get. Oh, yeah, I do not want to ride this, but gotta get the credit. <laughs> this one hasn't been updated with the newer restraint system or brake system. Still got the older one. Bulky over the shoulders with uh, standard friction brakes. Fun. Yeah, no. <laughs> not a very enjoyable ride, I must say. These don't have like the old, old over the shoulder restraints. Like a coma train? Or yeah, arrow like, trains? Yeah, the ones that look like you're a linebacker. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. those are only SLCs. So. Yeah, they're mostly on SLCs. I will do no such thing. Eric, Eric, guess what? The guy at Quasi sent me like 120 bucks. He said, buy a hotel. Nice. I'm like, okay. The hotel they were going to put us out that has no available rooms. <laughs> they have a relationship with us. They just told them. Oh, that sucks. So. Well, hopefully the place you have has, or are you going to make a reservation somewhere? Yeah, I'm going to make a reservation somewhere while we're eating. We're going to need uh, two rooms because i got to buy another room for tonight if I'm staying over again. Well, you can sleep in one bed and me and my dad can sleep in one. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a fun POV. We're, we're talking about sleeping arrangements for tomorrow. Okay. Tonight. <laughs> uh, I'm not looking forward to this. My back isn't even touching the seat at all. I know. I hate these Super uncomfortable. It's like so steep. I feel like a pinball just like shot all over the place. Like my head just goes bing, 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 bing. This is gonna suck. All right, I think we're almost at the top. Once those brakes open up at the bottom, then you know. There we go. Yeah. 
Oh crap. Oh no. I'm not excited for this either. Kill me. I wish this was sea surf. Ah! <laughs> Pretty uncomfortable. Oh, the backward part. These seats suck. I don't know why the back has to be so uncomfortable. Oh shit. Digs into these things. Oh, you can go around. Sorry. Jason and I just came off the park's boomerang. It was my first time on it. You've been on it before, though, right? Yeah, it sucks. I'm not a fan of boomerangs in general, but the newer models with the vest restraints are pretty good. But it's not, not as that one. Not as it as I always think they're gonna be, but they're terrible. Yeah. They're not like as bad, but they're not good. No, they're yeah. It's still way smoother than what the fun is. It's just not a very enjoyable ride. It gets pretty uncomfortable, especially going backwards. You get pretty nauseous. Um, yeah, we're climbing up the, hill, up the hill right now. We're gonna be going to the uh, dark ride. Get on that, because obviously it doesn't have the best capacity. It's gonna have a kind of a long line. Another ride that's closed this season is the Sky Coaster. As you can see, these huge towers right here. Uh, apparently, Connecticut won't let them open it for social distancing reasons. And I just stopped in here at the Parkside Diner to get a fruit refill. Of course, uh, with our free drink bottles come free refills for the day. So it's very nice of the parks to accommodate us like that. Very, very much appreciated. And um, I think we're gonna check out the dark ride next. You ready to go ride the new dark ride? The new dark ride. Second, I'm getting a hotel. Oh, I'm getting a hotel tonight. This flyer's ride takes absolutely forever to stop. I've been standing here for like two or three minutes and it's still spinning. I cannot believe how long it takes for this thing to stop. Oh, these poor people. I feel so bad. Oh, the wind's blowing and um, the flyers are still spinning very slowly. And I think we're about to start letting people on it. Like, people got off it maybe a minute or so ago. I don't know, what the hell. There's no braking system, I suppose, on this ride. And it just now fully stopped. Fun fact about the park, Guns N' Roses was supposed to perform here, but uh, yeah, they never showed up. It was sold out too, I feel so bad, that sucks. Imagine coming here, see Guns N' Roses, and they just never show up. I'd be so disappointed. But we're gonna walk over to Phobia right now and get a couple off-ride shots before the dark ride. And after the dark ride, I gotta get my last credit of the day over at uh, Wildcat. There's Phobia. Slowing down. It's like a cycle just ended. Maybe not. Yeah, it's like a cycle just ended. You wanna wait for another cycle? Yeah. For ghost hunt. It's a couple switchbacks, so I mean, it's pretty long already for just opening. Yeah. The park is crowded in the morning, the water park is crowded in the afternoon. Yeah, the park actually opened about an hour and a half ago, so the time is flying by already. <laughs> It shoots up, then shoots down. It's both. Oh, it's a combo. Uh, yep. Combo. So this ride looks really well themed. Um, unfortunately, the TV screen in the queue line appears to be frozen, but it's still a cool looking uh, station or anything. I like built, it. Built by Lagatronics, I think. La Lagatronics. It's the ride lag. Oh, is it laggy? Get 10 FPS. Oh, no. <laughs> Pretty excellent views of Phobia from over here, though.
Mr. Hero, you're a representative from the company? Confirmed. Oh, Our MC is at Lake Compound. They're, they're, yeah, they're yeah. building that. <laughs> My right gun got 46,000 and my left gun got 23,000. Uh, 46 and then. I got like 80 something thousand, I think, all together. I don't know. Are you, you, you only used one gun? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Jason and I just came off the car's dark ride. Ghost hunt. It was actually pretty cool. Nice shooting at Trackless Dark Ride. A lot of nice scenes in there, very interactive. You got a gun and everything. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it. There goes Bobby. Don't know when I'm gonna get back on that. <laughs> Park is getting pretty busy. Generally, don't see this at many parks, but you have this open area where you can just kind of go up and sit on the rocks or on the grass. I mean, I don't know if it's really officially that or not.
Park's SNS drop tower is called Downtown. It's a theme to Intamin rides. Yeah, yeah, SNS themes Intamin rides now. And <laughs> SNS also has Downtime, so it's themed to SNS and Intamin. <laughs> yeah, no nice. Downtime today, though. It has a pretty long line, actually. And uh, I don't think we're going to get on it. It looks pretty lame, honestly. I don't like yeah. the cycle. It doesn't look very, very fun. <laughs> yeah. It looks okay. I, I guess. wrote it last year. And it was okay. Yeah. Well, I'll... Wipeout there, I'll make one. Wipeout, I love those type of rides. They're yeah. so much fun. We, we should get on that today. Um, one theme though is a lot of uh, restaurants are closed because the park's closing next weekend, so there just isn't a lot of staff left. And also, schools are going back in session. That's fun. Oh, I lied. Oh, yeah, the line for Wildcat looks kind of long. We're gonna get lunch right now, I think. Not really sure what we're gonna get. Oh, yeah, look at that Wipeout. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, wipe out. <laughs> yeah, bro. Totally wipe out of the oh, Wildcats. Yeah, the line the for Wildcats all the way out of the queue. On the live social distancing market. Maybe I'll go get my battery on the car. Oof. And then you get in line for that while I'm going to film. Oh, man. I mean, I'll, I'll just wait until later or whatever. It's fine. Okay. I don't care that much. I'm not getting oh, I don't know. Yeah, that line looks pretty bad. Yeah, I'll Ooh, that looks good. Next to the park's classic looking carousel is the Starlight Theater, where um, in the 90s, Millie Vanilli got caught with a lip sync. A panic, a land of state. Fun fact for you. I'm sure a lot of you people already knew that. Pretty uh, well known fact. We're gonna be walking down here toward the water park, but we're not going in it right now. I did bring my bathing suit, so I might get some water park action later on in the vlog. And uh, there's a little fun fact here. Lake Compound's has some many famous people at the Starlight Theater, including Harry Houdini, Frank Sinatra, Aretha Franklin, and Glenn Miller. I don't know that last one there. Um, but those are just a few more people besides Millie and Millie who performed here at the theater. We're going to have to stop in at one of these souvenir places and uh, pick up a t-shirt or something because I'm really enjoying my time here so far. Really nice day. There's a train ride over there we're going to have to get on to. And it is definitely lunchtime. Oh my gosh. Needless to say, if they had a sky ride running, it would have to be closed today. We were talking to the park's marketing director, Amy, and uh, she actually said that they had this artwork here commissioned this season. So this is brand new. It looks really nice. You can see some of the different rides that are here in the park. And... Wow, I haven't gotten on that yet. We were supposed to go on that after the dark ride, but the dark ride took kind of a while, so we're getting hungry. Main Street Creamery has Dole Whip. Oh my god, look at all those flavors. I got the raspberry lime. I'm gonna have to get like a sampler if they sell that. I got one at Kennywood. It was, or not Kennywood, it was at Knoebel's. It was delicious. Potato patch over here, which is a Kennywood classic, has a pretty long line. They have the best fries in the park. Might have to get some later. The park has Dunkin' Donuts as an option. If you guys like some breakfast food, you can get breakfast sandwiches and uh, Donuts. We actually got Dunkin' Donuts for breakfast outside the park on the way here. Lots of hills here at Compounds. Not as oh hey, took my <laughs> not as many hills as like Dorney Park or Hershey, but still a lot of uphill walking. This place has a lot of fun. Food prices here actually not too bad. Nine 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 for hamburger combo, ten forty nine for cheeseburger combo. I might even go for a bacon cheeseburger combo. I'm gonna go for a bacon hamburger. Can you get the combo with fries or you want to get the potato pack? I mean, I, I could get both. <laughs> get both. <laughs> yeah, for a park this big, um, I wasn't expecting the prices for the food to be so reasonable. Jason got a bacon hamburger, I got a bacon cheeseburger, both fries. The fries are pretty good. Yeah, these burgers, the quality, yeah, not very good. It tastes very similar to the burgers that they use at Great Adventure. That's just, not what the taste. It's it just, like, it, just like low quality meat. It doesn't taste very filling or very appetizing. It's just all right. Burger. <laughs> so lunch was okay. Um, I wasn't overly impressed with the cheeseburger I had. It was just all right. It tasted like the same type of burgers that they use at Great Adventure. Quality of meat just doesn't taste completely right. It just tastes all additive and I don't know. Not, not a very good burger, in my opinion. It was okay. Jason went back with the park's uh, marketing director, Amy, uh, to the back of Boulder Dash into the section of the park that's actually closed this season, near the park's rapids ride and where the chairlift formerly was. And uh, they're back there getting some shots. So I'm gonna see if I can get back there with them and meet up. Um, if not, that's okay too. I'm not really too worried about it, to be honest. Still need to get on Wildcat. So I'm gonna check on the line for that right now and see what it looks like. 
if it's anything reasonable, I'll uh, try and get on that. Scream and swing over there is a must as well. Looks like they're only running one side of it though. Sorry for the sun there, but the line for Boulder Dash is uh, pretty much off to the edge. Of course, the ride doesn't have any switchbacks, so it's not really all that long. Or maybe it does have a switchback, I just didn't notice it, but they're not open either way. It's just a straight shot up into the station. Pretty big line for Wildcat. Looks like Wildcat's original train up there on that piece of track. Looks like it originally had three bench PTCs. Passing by Pink's Hot Dogs, which no longer exists in Cedar Point. I think they replaced that with uh, some type of mac and cheese place. But I like Pink's, so I had it at Cedar Point last time I went. It was pretty good. So, uh, let's see if I can get up here. The compounds has a trolley line. Looks like they store it over here in this shed and it runs on this overhead electrical wire. It looks pretty cool. There's a switch here that seems to lead to nowhere. As if there was a track maybe that went off to the left. But it's obviously filled in now with the path. And uh, Jason, marketing director and the operations manager are all up ahead of me. I decided to try and catch up with them. I uh, managed to walk through the behind the scenes area so I hope they're not mad. It's okay. I don't know if the park actually uses this trolley or not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to ask. What a great adventure! So We're standing over by where the park's former oh. sky ride used to be. You can still see the operator booth right there underneath the uh, Boulder Dash's turnaround. It's funny that that's still standing, but you can see the foundation area of where the uh, original terminal was, and it went straight up the mountain over here. An angle, a very steep mountain, and of course it's hard to evacuate people from it. And uh, yeah. So it's no longer here. This huge thing right here is actually a water pump from the rapids ride over here. Of course it's closed. That's no, cool. Remember we have like photos in the file of like from like 2000 something that they like took up there in catering. I'll have to find them because I know I've Yeah, they did before. some weird photos. They did up something there weird, once. yeah. <laughs> it's like on the edge of Thunder Rapids in catering. Great. Right. Prime location right here for a nice new flat ride. <laughs> Enterprise. Or a small coaster. New a new enterprise. It's like, like the, a new the enterprise? <laughs> they don't even make those anymore. You'd have yeah, to buy don't. you'd have to buy a Zamperla Endeavor. Endeavor. Yeah, that's fine. And that's not even technically an enterprise. It's like different. Husses making It's a lot new faster. Those things make me so sick. Oh the new ones are well. Husses making enterprises again. They are? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. They came back last year. Alright, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't get another enterprise. <laughs> Yeah, but 200 is for the safari. Closer to the actual park, you can see the trolley in there. It's too bad it's closed. I'd like to ride that. It's like a lot of fun.
Looks like the cycle's just about over, but let's just go off this one. It's got kind of a line though, so I don't think I'm gonna be getting on it, but hopefully it's still here next time I come. I don't think I'll remove it anytime soon. Stopped it over there at the Main Gate Creamery and I got myself a nice Dole Whip. This one is pineapple Dole Whip mixed with raspberry. I actually uh, met up with Justin over here, who was over at Boulder Dash earlier, and uh, now he's off, so he's eating some chicken. We're gonna hang out with him for a little bit, maybe. And I still need to ride Wildcat, but it has like a half or a half hour or 45 minute long wait. Wish I could get to skip a line pass or something for that. That'd be nice. Back up here, Phobia, and uh, he's on the phone right now with Avery. Avery, you're in my vlog now. I'm actually in Avery's vlog. He's doing a FaceTime <laughs> vlog. It's interesting that I've never heard of before. Phobia right here is going around, and Jason's up here somewhere, and I gotta get a picture of him. I have no clue where he's at, but uh, let's get a picture of somewhere. Else. Oh, there he is. Jason, they're on FaceTime right now with Avery. Yo, Avery! Shave! <laughs> That's how old them are. That's so lame. I wish they went for longer. I think it's because of the air pressure and stuff. This is build up pressure before it launches and stuff. Yep. So I guess it runs out of juice after a certain amount of times back and forth. But they're really fun rides. I do enjoy screaming swings, but I don't know if we're gonna get on that one. The line doesn't look too bad. Uh, you can't really see it too well, but the line for this is really quickly. <laughs> I wish we could have. I, I wish we could get more rides in Boulder Dash. Well, we still have two hours till the park closes, right? Yeah, we do have a couple hours left. Jason and I only waited about five minutes or so for this Ferris wheel. Not bad at all. I think because of the social distancing, the lines look a lot longer than they actually are. Very nice views of the park from up here. You can see our friend from Boulder Dash, Justin, over there. He's putting his loose articles away before he goes on the screen swing. He's with the group, so I'm going to hang out with those sort of Jason's so mad right now because they, they just sent Phobia. And I'm going to miss this shot as well because the fucking Are you serious? Are you, are you absolutely serious? Oh, Jason. Come on. Awesome. I'm so mad. <laughs> Go around again, and they're like, Yeah, sure, but he was the one waiting. 
ain't getting nothing out of one of the other guys. Yeah, that's We got off the Ferris wheel twice in a row. It's actually got a full queue right now behind me. I don't know how that happened. Like we literally just went around the wheel twice just now and um, had no queue 10 minutes ago maybe. Now full queue. We haven't gotten on a ton of rides actually today. No. We've, we've gotten on quite a few, we're mostly just like filming and stuff. But um, I think we're gonna head over toward Wildcat, try and get on that. Jason, you're not gonna ride with me? No. So I gotta ride Wildcat alone, but that's okay. It's sad, I only want one ride on it in my whole lifetime. One's enough. Uh oh, yeah, so that's gonna be uh, something to look forward to, I guess. No, I'm not really looking forward to it at all, but it shouldn't be a very- it, Drink at this place? It shouldn't be that long of a line. Yeah, we're gonna go in here and grab a, a soda at the uh, pizza place. It's literally called Pizza Place. I'm actually in line right now. This is the last credit I need here, the Wildcat. The line stretches all the way out the queue, across the midway. <laughs> Let's be social distancing like this right here. And, uh, yeah, I guess it just continues sneaking back this way somewhere. Yeah. Looks like this isn't easy to roll I think it's pretty cool if they put one of the old trains right here. With the entrance. Awesome. Three bench PTC trains with love bars. Really wish those were still on right now. I mean, love bars. You can't beat that. Looks like it won't be too much longer before we get on. About five minutes or so. <laughs> Playing a little game here. Made it into the station for Wildcat and they're sanitizing the train. They uh, I think do this every half hour or so, or every third cycle, something along those lines. And these are only seven car trains, so they can only road, or they can only load rows one, three, five, and seven. So capacity is taking a huge hit, and they're only running one train. Surprise, surprise. So we're gonna get on this thing. It'll be fun. Maybe not fun.
RMC, 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 RMC. Oh, oh god, that was rough as hell. Oh, oh. Jesus, not the worst wing coaster I've ever been on. Definitely not the best one. Oh, I got some of my eye. Yikes. Just got off the park's 1927 wooden coaster, Wildcat. It was okay. Um, it wasn't as rough as I was expecting it, to be honest. I was bracing for impact the entire time and came off feeling just underwhelmed. It was an okay coaster, not, nothing special about it, really. It'd be nice to have an RMC treatment for this. Of course, with those seven car trains, too, it doesn't help capacity. Right down there, just over the fence. That hill is painful. You hit the top and it just janks you to the right. Not not very enjoyable. I'm gonna try and find Jason. I think he's around here somewhere. People just been cutting the line. Luckily, they've been pretty good about stopping it. But, you know, there's it no one happening. out. There's no one out here. Yeah, there's so. no one out here. So it keeps happening. I was here. Happened to me over at Wildcat. This lady tried to cut the line, and uh, when the lady came over to tell her to go to the back of the line, the lady pointed over at me, and she's like, "Oh, well, he wasn't here before." And I was like, "I was totally there before her." Oh, hey, look who it is. Hey, what's up, man? Yeah, you want to you want to help us here? Like, uh... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> But, um, yeah, this line sucks. But yeah, I just got off on it. It's like an hour away. Oh my god. Okay. Maybe Did you not. didn't you ride this after you got off? I just got off. I, I just rode. Oh wait. Like, I just got off like ten minutes ago. Oh you did. Oh, oh my. I saw you got on the uh, screaming swing over there. Where is it? Over it. Yeah. Is this is an hour away. I ain't going it. Didn't wait. No, what? I went to uh, Thunder and Lightning. Then. Yes. Oh, you saw me? Yeah, yeah, I saw you. Saw you. Oh, the first shit. Yeah, yeah. We saw you like putting stuff in like the bin or whatever. We were on that Ferris wheel. Oh, I didn't even see you. Nah, this yeah, is for the like, hour. We've there. only been this line for like 10 minutes. Not even. Like less than 10 minutes. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. this is going to be the last ride for us, I think. We're going to head out after this. Unfortunately, the line for Boulder Dash wasn't moving quick enough at all. Um, we got in line and we moved maybe about 15 or 20 feet in like 15 or 20 minutes, and it's not very good. And we saw a train go out, and then all of a sudden, like one person or two people moved in line, and it just moved up like one spot. It was not a good scenario. But um, right now, we're gonna head out to the gift shop, see what's uh, see what they have to offer down there. I might grab like a T-shirt or maybe a sweatshirt or jacket or something like that. I'm kind of cold right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we're gonna head out after that call tonight. Been a pretty good day. We got on uh, a few rides. <laughs> we got on all the credits at least, and that's all that's important. And I'm definitely gonna have to come back here in the future because I really had a good time. Very, we'll very next enjoyable. Year before Memorial Day because it was empty that day. Yeah, and when there's no social distancing and stuff, so the lines actually move. Oh, that was crazy. It's not the park's fault, of course, because, uh, you know, they have to sanitize and yeah. clean everything. The lines are bad, but uh, you know, can't wait to come back here on a normal day. That's all I'm yeah. saying. <laughs> and maybe when the wave swing is open, because that's my favorite one. Oh, yeah, the wave it runs like 20 miles an hour. Wow. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We never got on a lot of the rides. Like, I wanted to get on more, but of course, it just didn't happen. The fried dough stand is open and has a huge, massive line. Oh, my gosh. What the hell? Where was that girl running from? Oh, no. She's like, it's chasing me, and I didn't see anything. 
I love these wild catchers. They use like the beast thing. Yeah, for King's Island. Island. I swear to God. That's I literally the, I saw that too. I was like, oh, damn. That's it looks like, like the beast from King's really Island. Nice. I'm getting these pins here. This one here comes with the white compound spin, the lanyard. And then the rest of these are for the rides. Wildcat, Boulder Dash, and Tobia. And then one of, the, uh, one of the guys is going to the back to check to see if I can get one of these shirts that Jason has on. Hopefully I can get one. Amy was totally right. There are actually a bunch of Jason shirts in the back. You just gotta ask and they'll go up and get you one if you want. You just tell them what size. Got this nice one. They come in different colors too. I got this one in light blue. Jason has a darker blue. And I told Izzy about that and he was like, oh, I already left the park. Eh, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty excited. This is a cool shirt. All right, it's 7.06. It looks like the rides are still open, actually. Um, the park's supposed to close at 7, but they said they might stay open a little bit later, depending on the crowds, and it's busy enough for that, I guess. But Probably, Jason yeah. and I are heading out either way. We had a pretty excellent day. We got on a pretty good amount of rides. Not as many as we would have liked, but that's okay. More of a reason to come back again next year. There's definitely a lot to do here, and it's a full-day park for sure. What do you think, Jason? Uh, still my top five favorite parks. Uh, Sorry, I'm gonna be hated on for this, but it's way better than Great Adventure. Yeah, the park atmosphere is definitely better yeah. than Great Adventure, our home park. And even the operators are so much more enthusiastic. We're all most of our ride operators, and stuff, except Toro's crew, are ass. Ah, uh, that's not true, Jason. Come on. All right, but anyway, oh. thank you guys for tuning in and joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed. So thank you, and have a great day. Peace out. Hey, kid. Hey. <laughs>